This is a Lost News Report with journalist Tony. Orange County has been filled with gangs since the old days. Around 2006 there was a spike in homicides and there was a reported 18 murders in Santana. This is one of the forgotten reports. Four documented gangs members of the Walnut Street Gang out of the city of Santana have been sentenced to life and life without the possibility of parole for a series of murders and attempted murders on rival gang members. A Lion Street Gang member stated he was walking down the street when a car full of Walnut Gang members came rolling by. The leader of the gang at the time A was a young man but the name of Juan Roldan. Juan Roldan and another gang member proceed to jump out the car and ask gang member Barrera where he was from. At that time he states he had one of two options to deny the gang like a punk or throw up the neighborhood and catch what's coming. The Walnut Gang member did not hesitate and shot him several times, putting him into a coma that he didn't wake up from until three weeks and multiple surgeries after the incident. The Walnut Gang leader was also connected to another shooting just days prior, on December 17, 2006 when the four gang members drove to a rival gang's territory by the name of Lopers. They would eventually run into three Lopers gang members in an alley walking. One of the gang members in the car shouted out beep lops. Using a derogatory term to insult his rival neighborhoods, that's when Fernando Garcia and Angel Secondino and Gabriel Perez and Vanessa Diaz responded with, this is Big Lopers Gang, and of the Lopers Gang members lifted up his shirt to show them his neighborhood barrio tattooed on him. Lopez Gang member testified that they heard someone scream just shoot them already. That's when Fernando Garcia and 14-year-old Angel and Gabriel were shot. Gabriel and Angel would die from these gunshot wounds. Surviving gang member Fernando Garcia was lying on the ground with multiple gunshot wounds when police officers asked him who had shot them, barely being able to speak anything he threw up a W with his fingers and said Walnut. Authorities managed to gain access to search Walnut gang member Roldan's house and found the 38 caliber weapon and a semi-automatic pistol both weapons were linked to the shootings. Fernando Garcia would go on to be questioned to authorities and pointed out Roldan and another gang member in the photographic lineup. Apparently Roldan was connected to another incident when a Roldan was looking for rival gang members and mistakenly shot a corn man vendor on the street striking him in the back, paralyzing him. Roldan would go on to be found not guilty. Angel C. Candino's father would be interviewed and stated he remembers the night his son was shot, when one of his son's friends came over to his house crying and panicking and explained to him what had happened. He ran over to the crime scene and was held back by yellow tape there was helicopters in the air. Apparently he had been shot once before he feel he is responsible for his son's death as he did not pay enough attention to him and he followed the steps of his uncle in becoming a gang member. The headlines of my son's death faded out quickly and has destroyed my heart. Rival gang members went as far as destroying Angel's headstone placed over his grave. One must come think how all these vicious assaults are taught. Driving down these dark alleys and busy streets of Orange County hunting down rival gang members. And now this person goes on and teaches the next, a killer still living at home with his parents, as of today Marco Antonio Perez was sentenced to 50 years for his role in the gang killings Norberto Hernandez was sentenced to two life sentences without the possibility of parole plus an additional 93 years, Angel Garcia was sentenced to life sentences without the possibility of parole plus an additional 50 years, Prospero Guadarrama who was 16 at the time has been sentenced to life without the possibility of parole.